so in this session we are going to discuss the color code format that you have to utilize to prepare your various categories of approval drawings right so basically in our CAD software if you refer any particular CAD software in that particular in that you have this color code index right so all these colors are identified with a certain color index number you can observe over here starting with one two three these are the basic colors right and depending upon the variation each particular color has a different color code options available right so in the smart DCR you have to in the smart DCR software they have specified every component of your approval drawing let's say plot boundary building boundary gate width trees plantation you can consider the parking area visitor parking dwelling unit right so all these different categories of component depending upon the type of drawing you are sending for the approval part whether it's a commercial building drawing factory building drawing or a particular process plant building drawing right depending upon the norms and the objects that you have to in that you have incorporated in your drawing for all each components software has specified the color code index with the object category whether it, it is in terms of polylines lines or in the terms of text format and in which particular layer right we categorize all these color code with a certain block or by layer in our AutoCAD drawing files right so every component is specified with a color code the object type whether it is polyline line or text format and the corresponding layer right so let's just take a look for your understanding I have considered few examples from the smart DCR manual as well so let's take a look for example for this first component let's say the plot boundary so it is specified over here that plot boundary shall be drawn as polyline in color number seven so you just have to identify identify that color number seven and the layer that has to be prepared in terms of floor ground or floor stilt right so it is mentioned with the example so let's take a look over here that for this particular building this is my boundary line and for the plot boundary the color code number is seven right so you can refer that particular color code number over here in your drawing right various categories or numbers are specified in this so seven is the index color that you have to consider in terms of your layer and which category of layer you have to specify that is also included right so it is mentioned over here the plot boundary shall be drawn as a polyline so it should be in terms of polyline and with the color code number seven floor ground now similarly let's take another example that uh, that is specifying your building boundary that has to be drawn as a polyline in color number 10 so you can identify that color number 10 in your drawing as well so it lies somewhere over here right so index color 10 so in a similar manner for every object the smart DCR manual has specified the description specification with the certain example so you can identify the component that you have to use in your drawing and depending upon that color code and the layer format you have to prepare your drawing right now let's take another example uh, let's say over here uh, the specifications provided now let's take an another example let's say the specification provided over here is that the front setback shall be drawn as per line in color number four then setback shall be in color number six similarly if you have the margin margin options in your drawing that has to be specified with the color number two so each category of the color is specified in this particular example so the CAD format of that drawing is available let's say for the marginal open space the rear setback is specified with the color code three and the color is also specified the side two setback is specified with the color number two similarly the front setback and the side setbacks are specified with the different color options right 
now let's take another example so in this particular example now let's take another one more example let's say over here it is specified that each and every dwelling unit shall be drawn as a polyline in color number 230 and the kitchen text with the dwelling unit text shall be kept inside 230 color polyline so while preparing the drawing this particular points you have to keep in mind right so it is specified over here with the dwelling unit text and the color index number is specified as 230 right and it should be in the polyline object similarly the component is specified and marked in this with the example right so depending upon the category of the structure every color code format you have to identify and based on that only you have to prepare your drawing otherwise the software will not accept this parameter let's take a look of the common plot or the common let's take an example of the common open plot again over here so it is specified that the common open plot area shall be drawn as polyline in color number 36 right the layer is also specified so you can check out that for this particular plot area the common plot is highlighted and it is specified with a certain color index index number 36 right so you there are so many categories of the objects objects like the security cabin rain was rain water harvesting trench service floor boundary parking area car stall residential far all these categories are specified with a certain color code numbers with the object category that you have to include whether it is in terms of polyline line or the text format and the corresponding layer which is applicable right so depending upon this you can refer and prepare your drawing accordingly here I have considered only few examples right so see let's take another example let's say for the floor ground so in this particular the main plot boundary is specified with the color code index number 30 right and the layer is specified as in floor ground so this is a subdivided plan so similarly if you have the subdivision plot so in the overall plot if you have the subdivisions of the plot so that should be specified in terms of polyline in color number 2 and that color number 2 is highlighted with the yellow part right so this is the subdivision plot boundary so these are the various categories of drawing that you are generally preparing for the approval for your construction segment right so all these different categories of examples are already specified in your D smart DCR manual you can check out that now let's take another example of the multiplex far now many of you have the questions that what is far now see let's first understand what is FAR? So FAR stands for floor area ratio. So FAR is basically it is specified as in real estate FAR of a project is the ratio between the total covered area of all the floors of a building to the plot area. Basically it is the space covered by all the floors in the building divided by the area of land on which the project is being constructed. Right? So that is a specification over here so it is the multiplex far and its a sitting arrangement is specified with a color combination of six which is highlighted with the pink color and the applicable full lower layer you have to specify now see remember one thing the far in real estate or the floor space index is decided by the municipal corporations or the development authority and according to the development control regulations it may vary from one city or even locality right so for each particular state they have their own specifications or regulations so the far value which is specified let's say in Gujarat it might vary in a variation in Maharashtra if you consider the Maharashtra so their local authority has already specified the has already decided certain values for this particular specifications now for your understanding let's consider an example let's say for particular city or locality uh, the far determine uh, let's say the far value is 1.5 now let's take an example to understand that now if the size of the plot or land being used for a project is 500 square feet and the far determined 
for that particular city or locality is 1.5 then the total floor area that can be constructed will be 1.5 times the 500 square foot that is the 750 square foot according to the FAR calculation. Now see as the maximum space available on the ground floor will be around 500 square foot hence with the remaining built up area of 250 square foot it is possible to construct just one more floor it is possible to construct just one more floor therefore considering the plot area and the far calculation formula applicable in that particular locality a developer would be permitted to construct a one story building so that's a simple example right now depending upon all these different categories you have to prepare your drawing that you have to now see there are more than 70 plus different categories of such drawing segments so that you can refer from the smart DCR manual so over here I have considered few important points that I feel to make you that I feel which are important to make you aware about that you can refer the smart DCR manual where every component with a layer and color code format is available all right now apart from this particular we have certain other list that we need to take care while preparing the drawing so let's take a look in that particular as well so here is the list of non far text permitted it is permitted with the color number four that you can check it out right and the note important note specified over here is text should be placed in a single line in the drawing so all this list of parameters right fountain porch storage sheet AC plant all these categories should be in the color number 4 index that you have to keep in mind similarly uh, these are the list of text that has to be kept in inside the commercial FSI polyline with the color index number 6 right so in the drawing for parking calculation this will be utilized you can note down all these components in the next list for the parking calculation list of tax which is specified with the color number 33 in the polyline category so all this list you have to keep in mind and that should be in this particular color code format so this is for the industrial FSI polyline only a single text is specified also uh, for the these are the list of non far text permitted with the color code number 4 right so all these components you have to keep in mind while preparing a drawing so in this video we have discussed various categories of examples which are related to the color code format that you have to implement while preparing your approval drawing right so I hope this information helps you out also we have discussed a uh, few important lists that you have to kept in a particular layer with the different components in the next session we are going to discuss all the possible errors that generally happens when you prepare an approve prepare an approval drawing keep learning keep sharing thank you